Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Chapati, soft and flaky flatbreads, usually served with a side of vegetables or meat. Chapati is a popular unleavened flatbread that is widely enjoyed in many parts of East Africa, including Kenya. It is a versatile and delicious bread that complements a variety of dishes and is often a staple in Kenyan cuisine. Here's an overview of how chapati is typically prepared. Ingredients. The main ingredients for making chapati are wheat flour, water, oil, and a pinch of salt. Some variations may include additional ingredients like milk or yogurt, which can add richness to the dough. Kneading. The flour is mixed with water and other ingredients to form a soft and pliable dough. The dough is kneaded thoroughly to ensure that it becomes smooth and elastic. Resting. The dough is allowed to rest for a short period, usually around 15 to 30 minutes. This resting time helps the gluten in the dough relax, making it easier to roll out later. Portioning. The dough is divided into small balls, and each ball is typically about the size of a golf ball. Rolling. Each ball of dough is flattened and rolled out into thin, round discs using a rolling pin. Some cooks may dust the work surface with flour to prevent sticking during rolling. Cooking. The rolled out dough is then cooked on a hot, dry griddle or skillet. It is cooked on both sides until it puffs up and develops light brown spots, indicating that it is cooked through. Oil or ghee. While chapati can be cooked without oil or ghee, some people prefer to brush the surface with a little oil or clarified butter, ghee, during the cooking process to add flavor and prevent sticking. Serving. Chapati is usually served hot and is a common accompaniment to a wide range of dishes, such as curries, stews, grilled meats, or even on its own with various spreads or dips. Chapati is a beloved and versatile bread that holds cultural significance in Kenyan cuisine. It is a popular choice for breakfast, lunch, or dinner and is also commonly enjoyed during festive occasions and celebrations. Its soft and chewy texture, along with its ability to complement a wide range of flavors, makes chapati a favorite among locals and visitors alike in Kenya. Samosa. Triangular pastries filled with spiced meat, vegetables, or lentils. Samosa is a popular savory snack and street food enjoyed in many parts of the world, including Kenya. It is a triangular or cone-shaped pastry filled with a spiced mixture of meat, vegetables, or lentils. Samosas are loved for their delicious taste and crispy texture, making them a favorite among locals and tourists alike. Here's an overview of how samosas are typically prepared. Dough. The outer layer of the samosa is made from a thin pastry dough. The dough is usually made with all-purpose flour, water, oil, and a pinch of salt. It is kneaded to form a smooth and elastic dough. Filling. The filling for the samosa is what gives it its distinctive flavor. Common fillings include spiced potatoes, minced meat, such as beef, chicken, or lamb, or a combination of meat and vegetables. Vegetarian options often include lentils, peas, or paneer, Indian cottage cheese, as the main filling. Spices. The filling is typically seasoned with a blend of spices and herbs, which may include cumin, coriander, turmeric, garam masala, chili powder, and others. The spices vary depending on regional preferences and individual recipes. Assembly. The dough is divided into small balls, and each ball is rolled out into a thin circle. A portion of the filling is placed in the center of the dough circle, and the edges are folded and pinched to seal the samosa into its characteristic triangular or cone shape. Frying. The assembled samosas are deep fried in hot oil until they become golden brown and crispy. Draining. Once fried, the samosas are removed from the oil and placed on paper towels to drain any excess oil. Serving. Samosas are usually served hot and can be enjoyed on their own or with various chutneys, sauces, or dips. Samosas are a popular snack and appetizer during festivals, celebrations, and everyday snacking. They are widely available in local markets, street food stalls, and restaurants throughout Kenya making them a convenient and delightful treat for people on the go. Whether enjoyed as a quick snack or as part of a larger meal, samosas are a flavorful and beloved part of Kenyan cuisine. Mahindi choma, grilled or roasted maize, corn, on the cob, often seasoned with spices. 
Mahindi choma is a popular street food in Kenya and other East African countries. It is a simple yet delicious way of enjoying grilled or roasted maize, corn, on the cob, often seasoned with various spices for added flavor. Mahindi means maize or corn in Swahili, and choma refers to the grilling or roasting process. Here's an overview of how Mahindi choma is typically prepared. Fresh maize. The main ingredient for Mahindi choma is fresh and tender maize on the cob. The maize is usually sourced from local farms or markets. Cleaning and preparing. The outer husks and silk of the maize are removed, leaving the clean corn cobs ready for grilling. Seasoning. Before grilling, the maize is often seasoned with a mixture of spices, salt, and sometimes a sprinkle of chili powder or paprika for a hint of heat. The spices can vary based on personal preferences and regional traditions. Grilling or roasting. The seasoned maize cobs are placed on a hot grill or open flame and cooked until they become tender and slightly charred. Some vendors may also roast the corn on a hot plate or in an oven. Serving. Once cooked, the Mahindi Choma is typically served hot. It is commonly enjoyed on its own as a quick and flavorful snack or street food. Mahindi Choma is a popular streetside treat in Kenya, especially during the corn harvest season. It is commonly found at local markets, roadside stalls, and street food vendors. The smoky and savory flavors of the grilled or roasted corn, combined with the aromatic spices, make it a delightful and satisfying snack for people of all ages. It's a wonderful way to experience the simple pleasures of East African street food and the natural goodness of fresh, locally sourced maize. Mutura, grilled sausage made from a mixture of minced meat and offal, seasoned with spices. Mutura is a popular Kenyan street food and sausage-like delicacy that is beloved for its unique flavors and rich taste. It is a type of sausage made from a mixture of minced meat, offal, internal organs, and sometimes blood, all seasoned with a blend of spices and herbs. Mutura is often grilled or roasted, giving it a smoky and savory flavor. Here's an overview of how Mutura is typically prepared. Ingredients. The main ingredients for Mutura include minced meat, offal, such as tripe, intestines, or liver, and sometimes fresh blood, though not always. The choice of meat and offal can vary depending on regional preferences and personal taste. Seasoning. The meat, offal, and blood, if used, are seasoned with a mix of spices and herbs. Common spices include salt, black pepper, chili powder, cumin, coriander, and other regional spices for added flavor. Stuffing. The seasoned mixture is then stuffed into a casing, traditionally made from cleaned and prepared animal intestines, which gives Mutura its sausage-like shape. Today, synthetic casings or even aluminum foil may also be used. Grilling or roasting. Mutura is typically grilled or roasted over an open flame or on a barbecue, which imparts a smoky and charred flavor to the sausage. Serving. Once cooked, Mutura is often served hot and may be cut into smaller pieces for sharing. It is commonly enjoyed as a street food snack or as part of a larger meal. Mutura is a popular and flavorful street food in Kenya, especially in urban centers and local markets. It is often served with spicy sauces or condiments, such as kachumbari, a fresh tomato and onion salad, adding even more depth and zing to its already robust taste. If you have a taste for adventurous and unique flavors, trying Mutura is a must when exploring the diverse street food scene of Kenya. Kuku Choma, grilled chicken, typically served with a spicy sauce. Kuku choma is a popular Kenyan street food that translates to grilled chicken in Swahili. It is a flavorful and delicious dish made by marinating chicken pieces in a blend of spices and then grilling them until they are tender and charred, creating a smoky and savory flavor. Here's an overview of how kuku choma is typically prepared. Marination. The first step in making kuku choma is to marinate the chicken. The chicken pieces, such as drumsticks, thighs, or wings, are marinated in a mixture of spices and herbs. Common marinade ingredients may include garlic, ginger, lemon or lime juice, chili peppers or hot spices, paprika, cumin, coriander, and other flavorful seasonings. The chicken is left to marinate for a few hours or overnight, allowing the flavors to penetrate the meat. Grilling. 
Once the chicken has been marinated, it is ready for grilling. Kuku choma is typically cooked on an open flame or on a barbecue grill. The high heat and direct flame give the chicken a smoky and charred exterior, while the inside remains tender and juicy. Basting. Some cooks may baste the chicken with additional marinade or oil during the grilling process to keep it moist and add extra flavor. Serving. Kuku choma is usually served hot and can be enjoyed as a standalone snack or as part of a larger meal. It is often served with side dishes like kachumbari, a fresh tomato and onion salad, and ugali, maize porridge, or chapati, flatbread. Kuku choma is a favorite street food in Kenya, commonly found at roadside stalls, local markets, and barbecue spots. Its mouthwatering aroma and delicious taste make it a popular choice for gatherings, celebrations, and everyday enjoyment. Whether you're exploring the bustling streets of Nairobi or other parts of Kenya, trying kuku choma is a must for anyone looking to savor the rich and vibrant flavors of Kenyan cuisine.